Hello, tell the head best season in the land. I'm so excited. We're doing a styling tutorial today, and I'm with my good friend Nora. Hey guys. Our global artiste and my model Emily. So a lot of times we, we're doing this huge blowout, and we're wondering, okay, how come we're hurting our arms? We're blowing out her hair, but how come the bevel isn't there? Right? And I like to keep the bevel in the hair there, especially when you have one length hair, you want to, it's like, how do you get volume? So I want to show you guys how you do that using Guy Tang My Dandy products. So let's go ahead and give me my hair loop. Okay, so layering products is really important and understand when to layer the products accordingly. Like, will you put the hair loop on after or before? So I like to put the hair loop on dry hair before anything else. Less is more, right? So just about two pumps, I'm gonna massage it all over my palms and my fingers, hands here. And just kind of just glide it through the, the outside surface of the hair, just to remove any flyaways and kind of add that polish and slippage to the hair. This is a two inch curling iron. It's very big, it's very girthy, it's very thick. It's the big daddy iron. <laughs> yeah, but this is a size we need when we're going in creating this look. So she has one length, and the key is to over-direct everything towards her face. The over-direction ensures that it cups her face, right? Her length is slightly longer in the front because she has like, as you can see here, it slightly slopes forward. I kind of dig that look, so I didn't want to cut into it. I kind of want to keep the long little dagger points in the front. I think that's kind of cool. So we are going in using my Defender from Guy Tang My Dandy Spray. This is the heat protection spray, protects the hair up to like 430 degrees, but don't be crazy, don't turn on too high because you still want to protect the hair color. So I'm gonna brush that through. And we're gonna turn the iron under. We're gonna start at base here. Turn it under, we're gonna wrap it in flat. Lay the hair flat on the iron, that's the key here. And roll the ends in last, just like so. And the cool thing is why I love is that when you give a little body to the hair, the color looks so much more vibrant, so much more shinier and more polished, right? It just comes alive. The hair comes alive. And you don't need to leave the iron on for too long. You're just doing it to give it body and kind of like roll it in just like that. So even you see like a slight curl on the ends, don't mind it because at the end I'm gonna brush it out and then gonna back brush it a little bit to give it a little oomph. Because with the length of her hair being so long, if you try to brush it out immediately, what happens is you lose that shape really fast. With hair being one length like this, you lose curl really, really fast because of the weight and it the drops. gravity, it just drops. All right, so I'm just gonna drag all of this hair in. Okay, turn right there through the center of the hair and then wrap the ends in last. I'm gonna continue this all the way to the back of her head and repeat the same thing on the opposite side, but keep spraying your My Defender spray as you go, and that's the key here, is to just protect every section and brush the product through, so that way everything is smoothed out. You don't iron in any creases. <laughs> and brushing through the hair also helps get even distribution of the product. And if you want to flip the hair away from the face, you can, but I just really want the hair to go into the face, just so you have that, that face framing hug. Every now and then we need a hug from the hair. <laughs> I love that when you do this, you really get to see all the highlights pop through the ends, right in through there. It's so beautiful. It's almost like mimicking a blowout, and that's what you want to do. Because honestly, we work so hard with a round brush trying to blow out the hair, and at the end, it just goes flat, like in a minute or two. Do you know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. Nora? Absolutely. We try so hard to create this bevel look, but why work harder and not work smarter? Use a big two inch um, barrel iron, and it smooths the hair out, and you get more of a polish anyways. And sometimes I feel like when you're over tugging the hair with a round brush, you're actually putting more tension on the hair. But you know what's really interesting, Nora? I noticed that with a lot of people, they brag about being the best blowouter. I blow out the hair. I'm just, I was like, well, good for you, carpal tunnel. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Let's see how long that lasts. That might be cute showing it off now, but how long? You've met people like that, right? Absolutely. They, they brag whether they're the best at blowouts. It's like, good, good for you. Well, it's good that they can do it because I do think finishing, you know, is an amazing talent that you need to be able to do, but overly bragging on the blow dry is what's going to give you that 
rotator cuff surgery about 10 years from now. I agree, and oftentimes for this, if I want it to cool off, just like we would with a round brush, we pin the hair so we have volume in the, the body in the hair. I'll do this while it cools down. I wrap all the hair up and just let it sit there. All right, so now that we're back with both sides of her hair finish curling, okay, I wanna show you, I'm gonna take off the first side of her hair first that has been sitting. So as you can see, as I drop it, you can see how it just goes into her face. It just cups. So now I'm gonna spray my thick body spray. This is our amazing texture spray. It's gonna buff up her hair, give it some girth and texture. Spray it on her hair to give it a little more bulk and body. So now what I'm gonna do is go right behind this where you can see how beautiful her curl is right there. We're gonna create a soft back brush to create like a cushion, just so we have more volume. So you can see I grip the ends, just tap just the back part of it. And now I'm gonna go in with my power spray. And this is gonna ensure that we create almost like a web link to kind of hold the volume and the hair together. And I want everything kind of cupping her face here. And then you want to get the little baby fine hairs around the face. I'm going to cover her face. Spray it and spray in the inside to get any flyaways looking smooth. And we're going to use our fingers, pinch and expand. Now, if you just want to leave it like this, you could too. But look at the difference here. Look how this expands and fans out and really showcase not only how full her hair look, but how light those highlights look on her ends. It really, really pops. Oh my God, her color looks even better. She has no idea what she looks like, do ya? Okay, so now I'm gonna cut her face and put my power spray, just landing it right on the hair. So she has a little bit of a bevel in her fringe. Just like so. Oh, okay. All right, you ready to see yourself? Yes. Oh, you locked it. All right. Ah, that's a lot of hair, huh? It is a lot of hair. Are you freaking out? No. You know I what you it. look like? What do I look like? It, it, it kind of gives like a beautiful, almost like a cobra type of feel. Yeah. Right? Mm. Yeah. Yes, it does. And it's, that's a compliment. I yeah. love that because I, I love the flow. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, this is how you do this beautiful style. I hope you guys like it. Click thumbs up, subscribe, stalk me and Nora on Instagram, and download my music on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, all that stuff. My album's called More To Me. Thank you for your love and support. Leave comments below. Bye. You're gonna break my heart. Go ahead and do it, do it. Just don't leave me. Tell me a song